Hello and welcome everyone to match two of the Fighter Jet Frenzy tournament. Uh, in this match, we will be watching the XF-13B, two of them in fact, by Doom Agent 13, take on the F-60A Vulture, also two of them, by Dragon Slayer 918. Both of these entries are mostly missile armed, with the craft by Doom Agent here being significantly faster because they actually use 3 meter custom jet engines. Uh, and there's something special going on with this entry uh, because Doom Agent 13 asked me to check the material consumption as he'd submitted two versions, one of them with the uh, listed material consumption in mind. But in testing it turned out that CJs don't consume a lot of material at all now. And so he sent a more expensive version that I could spawn to of if the consumption turned out to be very low on my machine as well, which it did turn out to be. So what you're seeing here is an entry that perhaps should be consuming more fuel than it is, but if the game allows it, then I will allow it as well. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get the battle underway. So you can see it's not very maneuverable, but it's very fast. But that's not the one that the vultures went after. The vultures went after the other one. Wide turn. And a joust and a missile impact on this plane. That didn't look healthy. And another missile. They're just trading missiles. One of the vultures has actually gone out of bounds. I don't know where it went. It's difficult to pay attention when things are moving this fast. But yeah, one of the vultures has now been disqualified. And now... This one is trying to dodge missiles. Trying being the keyword. So that didn't do a lot of damage to it. Any hit can be critical with the exposed control surfaces that many entries have in this tournament. In fact, all of them have it to some degree. This one has sort of armored controls. But they're not going to last forever, not with hits like those. And it's now spiraling into the sea. And that looks very much like a round one win for the XF-13s. All right, so round one goes to the XF-13s. Let's set up the second one. Where is everybody? Here are the vultures. Let's watch them this time. Oh, this one just took a missile hit. The XF-13s haven't taken any damage, but one of them has flown very far out of bounds. There's a missile chasing this one, isn't there? No. The distances in this battle are really long. Perhaps it's because the fighters are trying to dodge missiles. Looks like one of the XFs actually got hit. And it looks like it was a critical hit too. So there goes one of the XF-13s, so now the vultures can both focus on this one. Though one of the vultures is flying around in circles and probably won't be able to give chase. This one looks like it might be able to still do something. Yeah, this one can maybe still turn? Has to be careful. That looked like a near collision. It's a good thing I set my camera to the fastest settings. <laughs> These planes are fast, especially the XF-13s. I think they're the second fastest in the whole tournament. This missile can't quite catch it. Now those launched from pretty close by, so maybe these will be able to catch the XF-13. 
don't know how fast they are though. It seems they're a bit slower. Yeah, looks like it. And one of the vultures is gaining DQ points fast because it cannot control its movement anymore. It, it tends to fly away every now and then, which is going to see it disqualified if that keeps happening. In fact, it might be happening to both of them. So while they're still fighting, they're too damaged to really correct their course and prevent disqualification. Or at least this one is. You can see how sharp those missiles turn. Oh, that was a collision there. Oh, no. Yeah, so that caused one of the vultures to be disqualified. But it nearly got the XF disqualified as well. Both sides are now down to one aircraft that is nearly disqualified. And that does not look like a controlled turn to me. And it's out. That was very close. So round two goes to the vultures. So the last round will decide the match. All right, let's start the last round. That that didn't look very exciting at first, but that was a very close run the thing. So no one's taken a hit yet. The XFs and vultures are making really wide turns, and this vulture just took a hit. Yeah. And judging by how it's turning now, that was a critical hit. The other vulture has taken some damage as well, and both of the XFs are undamaged. So far, everyone seems to still be in the fight. How are these two doing? Ooh. Vulture just took a missile hit. And that one did too. At some point, this is going to cause issues for them. In fact, this one might now already be turning out of control. Yeah, I think it is. This one's still in it. Actually, no, it's... While it's no longer really flying to chase the enemy, it's also not crashing into the ocean, so... It should be okay. If it can stay airborne and it can shoot, that's fine with me. When they don't take a hit to the control surfaces, the vultures are pretty durable craft. They're quite well armored. There's a reason that Dragon Slayer couldn't afford three of them, but only two. <laughs> that was close. Now the XFs have to be careful here. Flying low and nearly disqualifying itself here. Taking so long to come back. Would be a shame if this came down to the disqualifications again, but this time around with no real damage being dealt. Because I, I don't think either side was really built for this kind of fight. I mean, they brought it upon themselves, but... They, they don't seem to be doing too well landing missiles here. Oh, well, just as I say that... This one takes another missile hit. 
But one of the XFs is very close to disqualification. And the vultures are taking more and more damage. And I think this one is finally going to go down. Though... Seeing this, maybe it will spiral up instead of down. That would be a problem for the XFs, because they've just lost one of their aircraft to the DQ timer. And going up and going too high doesn't lead to too many disqualification points per second, it's only two. Uh, but if you go down into the water, uh, you'll be disqualified in five seconds tops. Now this XF has only a minute left to kill one of the vultures, or both of them really, to win. Well, one of them would be enough to make this come down to a vote, I think. But it has to be careful not to get disqualified. Did it just take a hit from its own missile? Or from another missile? I'm not sure what happened there. Another hit on one of the vultures? But they're not going down. And that's five minutes. Okay. Um, so, given that the XFs have nearly disqualified both of, uh, yeah, both of themselves, one of them is dead, the other is only two points away, and haven't been able to take out either of the vultures. I'm going to give it to the vultures. So, Dragon Slayer 918, uh, your planes will be moving on in the primary bracket. Congratulations. And Doom Agent 13, well, it was an impressive showing from your planes, given how fast they're going and how they can land missiles on really difficult targets like these. It was not enough to bring them down. And so, sadly, your planes will be moving down to the secondary bracket where they will get another chance. That was it for this match. I'll see you in the next video.